LEDs, why are they much more energy efficient than traditional light sources like incandescent or fluorescent bulbs? Why is this LED red? Why is it green? LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. It's a tiny device emits light when current flows through it. But why does it do this? It's all about the flow of electricity in one direction. An LED has two leads. One positive, the anode, one negative, the cathode. When connected properly, electrical current flows from the anode to the cathode, allowing the LED to emit light. This one-way flow of current is critical to the operation of an LED, which makes it a type of diode. The light emission happens because of how the materials inside the LED interact with electricity. To understand why LEDs produce light, we need to look inside the semiconductor material. Most LEDs are made of materials like gallium nitride or gallium arsenide. These semiconductors have two layers, an n-type layer with extra electrons and a p-type layer with whole spaces for electrons to fill in. When electricity is applied, electrons flow from the n-type layer to the p-type layer. Electrons release energy in the form of photons, which is light. This process is called electroluminescence, the core mechanism behind how LEDs generate light. But why do electrons release light when they move? It's because of the energy difference between the two layers. When an electron drops into a hole, it moves from a higher energy state to a lower one and the energy release comes out as a photon of light. So why are LEDs so much more efficient than traditional bulbs? Incandescent bulbs waste a lot of energy as heat because they work by heating a filament until it glows. In fact, around 90% of energy in an incandescent bulb is lost as heat, and only about 10% becomes visible light. LEDs are completely different. They don't need to generate heat to produce light. Instead, the electrical energy directly drives the movement of electrons, and almost all of that energy is converted into light. This is why LEDs stay cool to the touch and are far more energy efficient. They also last much longer than other types of bulbs, and the LED can last up to 25 times longer than an incandescent bulb, meaning fewer replacements and lower costs in the long run. Why do LEDs come in different colors? It all depends on the semiconductor material used. Different materials release photons at different energy levels, which corresponds to different colors of light. For example, gallium arsenide emits red light because the energy difference between the electron and hole in the semiconductor is smaller. Gallium nitride, on the other hand, has a larger energy difference and emits blue light. The color of light is directly tied to the energy of the photon released. The larger the energy gap, the shorter the wavelength of the light, which is why blue and violet LEDs have more energy than red ones. Converting blue LEDs to white LEDs involves using a blue LED to excite a fluorescent chemical, which then converts the blue light to white light. This process is essential because white light compromises red, green, and blue wavelengths, and without blue, you can't achieve white light. One of the most interesting features of LEDs is the ability to control brightness. The brightness of an LED is directly related to the amount of electrical current flowing through it. More current means more electrons are moving and releasing photons which increases the light output. Another method used to control brightness is called pulse width modulation or PWM. By rapidly switching the LED on or off at different intervals, the human eye perceives a dimmer or brighter light. This technique is used in many modern devices, from phone screens to car headlights, to adjust brightness dynamically without wasting energy. LEDs have become the dominant light source in a wide range of applications. You see them in your phone screens, TV displays, car headlights, and even smart home lighting systems. LEDs are widely used. They're 
incredibly energy efficient, which helps save electricity, especially in large scale applications like street lights. The potential for LEDs continues to grow. New technologies like micro LEDs and flexible OLEDs are pushing the boundaries of display technology, allowing for more vibrant colors, better energy efficiency, and thinner, more flexible designs. Now you have a basic idea of the science behind how LEDs work. Share your thoughts in the comments.